So obviously you guys probably saw my last video where I went to the mountain and I forgot to use this with my windscreen, this little thing. So I've been so used to using the windscreen for having good audio that I didn't realize how bad the wind would sound on just holding my GoPro like this, which is pretty much what I was doing while riding and even doing the little vlogging part. So here's that sample from the last video. Okay, so I just did my first run to make sure I had my muscle memory back and uh, yeah, real snow feels so good, so much better than slush. So I'm gonna film the next run now that my legs are a little more comfortable after not riding with my injury. Technically I'm not supposed to be riding today. And here's a few mashup clips of when I was doing the little vlogging parts with the foam cover. Boga, 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 boga. Big bogus. We're at Bogus Basin in Idaho and we're gonna check it out. Bluebird Day. They got fresh snow. Okay, it's August 22nd and I'm about to go snowboarding. Like, I've never seen it this dry before. This is crazy. It's like a forest enchantment wonderland or something. But there's a little patch of snow at the top and they take the lift all the way to the top of the volcano at Palmer. So we're gonna see what summer riding is like. Now other people are like, oh, summer riding June or 4th of July. Nah, dude, literally next week is September. So as you can see, the audio is way, way more clear when you're using this and it blocks the wind on the chairlift. And it's not just for that, it's also riding. So here's an example of when I used nothing for just riding around with a helmet mount last winter at the beginning of the season. And then here are examples of when I was riding around with the foam cover on and the sounds that you're hearing is not wind because that would be really high pitched. It's actually the sounds of the snowboard edges scraping against the ice or the snow. So you can actually hear every detail of my foot movements when I'm riding. So, 
for these little foam covers. Again, I had this out of the case all year um, because I was skateboarding and I don't have a tripod. So there's no reason to do this. But to put it on, I mean, literally, you just get this little foam cover that's got a cutout of the shape of the GoPro. And um, so you just kind of you slide it in a little hole, you stretch it, which um, these do kind of wear out over time. Just letting you guys know that. And then you slide it up over the case and then you know I think there's like a few microphones on the top and the side so this doesn't cover the buttons or the screen so it's just covering the microphones I mean this is what professional cameras and microphones normally have like you know you see um, this is gonna sound really loud see I got a microphone right here it's just a metal tube underneath but I got the little foam here obviously it's not windy in my apartment but you know, you see that in all the movie sets. So this is pretty much what that is. Um, they could make a really furry one. That would probably look weird. But, yeah, so you just literally just put this over your GoPro, and it blocks out all the, the wind noise. So you can actually talk to it, and you won't have that interference. Um, you could possibly even take off the auto setting or putting it on wind, because when you do put it on wind reduction in camera, it uh, kind of muffles the sound and takes away some of the bass. So if you're doing a lot of talking, you could just put it to normal audio or put it on auto if you just want to be safe. And um, you'll get decent audio out of this. Like it's probably the biggest GoPro upgrade that I did all season. So, you know, forget all the mounts, all of that. Like literally this for like 10 bucks or so, I don't know, it fluctuates on Amazon. I'll put a link below of what I got because this one, is pretty stretchy and it actually has the cutouts because some of them is just like a sock that you put over it but yeah I got this one so just check out the description or the comments and I'll put a link it's pretty cheap worth it I'll probably buy another one I mean this lasted all of last season I mean there's just kind of a rip because I just started manhandling it and I just kind of stopped caring because I was like oh, I'll probably just buy another one later but yeah huge huge audio upgrade and the GoPro 7 on tests actually kind of has better audio than the GoPro 8. So when you do the GoPro 7, you combine it with this. Probably going to be the best audio you're going to get without using an external microphone. So I really like this. And then another benefit that a lot of people don't talk about, like if you're skiing and snowboarding, is GoPros have that issue with cold when it gets cold outside. And they usually will like turn off. Sometimes they freeze. Sometimes... Um, hyper smooth won't work and the thing that's cool about this is obviously it's going to retain heat because the other thing that gopros are notorious about is overheating in hot weather so you combine that overheating factor with this insulation which is going to block the wind which you know wind usually airflow is a cooling mechanism so it's going to stop the airflow when you're riding down the mountain from making the gopro colder it's going to insulate and retain the heat that the gopro is generating but that's not going to be an issue when it's like 15 or 20 degrees outside and you're riding down the mountain. So it actually reduced freezing. And I don't think my GoPro ever had any hyper smooth freezing issues until I got the, um, the windscreen that helps insulate it. Because before, sometimes it would say it's too cold, hyper smooth cannot work. But as soon as I started using this, never had any temperature issues, which is kind of fun and nice to know. But it is annoying to constantly, you know, have to take it off and all of that if you just want to charge the battery. Um, and it does like to catch snow um, if it's snowing really hard and accumulates in that. But other than that, perfect audio and it keeps your camera warm when you're snowboarding. So, yeah.